Uh, hello, this is Andrei. Welcome back to my blog. Uh, today I'll talk about uh, Oracle Cloud and about Oracle Visual Builder Cloud service in particular. Um, <clears throat> in general, uh, if you have a task to build a fairly uh, standard UI with tables and forms, master details, uh, search, uh, list of values, and, and so on, uh, create it update delete functionality. So why would uh, invest uh, your time and build a uh, custom UI from the ground, especially now with JavaScript, like uh, when JavaScript ecosystem is changing often and uh, it's hard to maintain all this uh, uh, stuff. Uh, instead, you could uh, <clears throat> look into the low code platform like Oracle Visual Builder Cloud Service, where you could um, declaratively create uh, uh, very uh, fast and uh, efficient uh, web and mobile applications, and uh, you could run, um, you can build these applications with Visual Builder Cloud Service, and you could run these applications on top of Visual Builder Cloud Service, host them there, or you have the option even to export the application and run it in your own environment if you wish. So, uh, today I'll talk about how you could actually start with Visual Builder Cloud Service, how you could create instance of uh, uh, the service in Oracle Cloud. And for that, let me uh, switch to my screen. Okay. So here we would see, uh, okay, this, first of all, if you, if you don't know anything about Visual Builder Cloud Service, you could go to this URL and you could browse and look um, and read about uh, uh, what is the service about. There's also pricing information and so on. Um, there are references to the technical blog post describing how you would build the applications and, uh, and things like that. Now I switch to Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Um, this is uh, Oracle Cloud uh, UI control, uh, which allows to um, uh, manage and uh, provision uh, and monitor all your cloud services. And uh, since I want to create new instance of Visual Builder Cloud Service, I would go to the menu on the left and uh, you would go to uh, platform services and you would, uh, there is option to select Visual Builder. <coughs> uh, as I understand at this moment, Visual Builder doesn't run on directly on Oracle Cloud infrastructure environment, it runs on older Oracle Cloud and for this reason it's not available directly uh, as a cloud infrastructure service, but it could be that I'm wrong and this is just, this is uh, how it looks to me. But in any case, so we would select platform services, Visual Builder, and because Visual Builder doesn't um, run directly from uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure, uh, uh, it opens in another window and it's some sort of wrapper UI, which loads older uh, cloud interface uh, where we could create our Visual Builder instance. And this interface, if I would do view page source, uh, I see it built with um, Oracle EDF, but uh, new interface for uh, cloud infrastructure is, is built with something else, it's not EDF anymore. Okay, so we create, create, click create instance here, and then uh, that's fairly simple, just uh, one step uh, wizard, and I would need to uh, provide instance name, and this could be Example, that's my VBCS, uh, no description. Uh, for the region, I'm, I'm, I prefer to select Frankfurt, the same region as uh, uh, cloud infrastructure um, instance for my account. There are no additional tags, nothing, and I just hit next. And waiting couple of seconds, then we got the confirmation window here. And now click create. So I imagine now it would take some moments to create the instance. I would, I would not expect that it would, it would be immediate. Uh, yeah, it actually reports here that now it's creating service and uh, we would need to wait. Uh, some moments when the service will be created. So I'll not, let me pause the video and I'll come back when, once, it's, once it's ready. So 
So it took around five, seven minutes and we have the VCS instance up and running. It's created and we can go inside the instance. There is some information here for the overview. So let's see, now it's not started, I guess. We could try to open Visual Builder homepage. Okay, it started by default when once it's created, it's nice. So we have, we got access now to the Visual Builder instance here and we can create new application or import existing application. That's fine. And let's go to cloud infrastructure and review if there, there were any database instances so I created automatically or not. I guess, I guess no. Let's see, autonomous data warehouse. There are no instances and transaction processing, no instances. In general, my <coughs> cloud, cloud account, it's quite, um, there are nothing special here. I just, I run a couple of uh, always free compute instances where I host um, uh, our Oracle Jet applications. Besides that, there's, there's nothing else. Uh, of course, now I got also Visual Builder Cloud Service instance here. And let's see, uh, Visual Builder Cloud Service is not free. And now if I would keep it running, it would uh, calculate, uh, like, uh, let's see, there was a price list over there. Uh, every hour would be 1.23 US dollars uh, since it's running, but I see this option to stop it. So I will definitely, uh, after recording this video, I will stop it. And next time I'll start again. Once I'll do, <clears throat> once I want to do some experiments and, uh, and build some UI with visual builder clusters. Uh, uh, in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure main page, there's an uh, option to check billing and analyze costs. So if I go there, I see I was playing a bit with data science uh, platform on Oracle Cloud and it locked two cents for me. And then after that, I was not using it, it's no, no fees anymore. So after some time, I'll see <clears throat> there will be a price lock for Visual Builder Cloud service and I'll check that later. So for now, let's let's stop it. <clears throat> and it asks if you really want to stop. Yes. Okay, and stop operation is in progress. That's fine. So the next time, uh, today I will show you how to create Visual Builder Cloud Service instance. Next time I'll show you um, how to uh, map this instance with uh, always free database so that the price for uh, this instance line time would be a bit lower um, since you would use free database uh, for the infrastructure. And next time uh, also maybe we'll look how to create uh, some basic application too. So anyway, thanks. Uh, Thanks, thanks for watching and um, hopefully you will find uh, uh, my new <coughs> blog uh, for Oracle useful in your daily work. And previously I was blogging a lot about Oracle ADF, uh, but now since um, Oracle introduced new uh, development platform for web and mobile applications, uh, Oracle Visual, Visual Builder Cloud Service, I decided to uh, change the way um, creating blogs. So instead of typing the text, I'll, I'll do video recordings, uh, I'll show the examples and I'll post uh, sample code on GitHub. So thanks and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.